Welcome to Chilling Dragon Designs. This is Saranan. Today I'm going to show you how to make a claw hammer using SolidWorks. First go to File, click New, select Part and then click OK. Ok, before start sketching, check whether all the dimensions are in MMGS or not. Just go down and click it. It's already there, I'm just showing you. In MMGS, that is millimeter gram second, select it. Now I'm going to start the sketch from the top line. Sketch. Here, I'm going to create one circle. From this origin, I'm going to draw one circle. Smart dimensions. I'm going to give 30 mm for this one. Features. Now I'm going to extrude this up to 20 mm. This one is a face part of the hammer. I'm going to take this one as a reference. From here, I'm going to create two planes using reference geometry. Reference geometry, plane. It's already there, 10 mm. I'm going to select, select this plane again, same 10 mm, select. Okay, we created the two planes. Now I'm going to draw two polygons and one circle. One is a primary polygon, another one is a secondary polygon. Now I'm going to edit this part, sketch, normal view. Here I'm going to draw secondary polygon first. Make sure that this origin point and this point must be horizontal smart dimensions I'm going to give it 25 mm exit sketch and I'm going to edit the first plane sketch normal view now primary polygon same like what we did in the secondary polygon select this origin point and this point must be horizontal smart dimensions I'm going to give it's 15 mm Exit sketch. Now for second plane, sketch, normal view. Here I'm going to create one circle from this origin. Smart dimensions for this circle is 25 mm. It's fine. Exit sketch. Now I'm going to do a loft. Select lofted boss base. Select the first secondary polygon primary polygon and this circle okay go to top view there is some uneven structure i'm going to edit this just drag it and place it here same like this one place it okay it's fine select now you can see the face part of the hammer and the neck part of the hammer is ready now i'm going to hide these two lines hide Hi. Okay. So now I'm going to edit the front plane sketch. Normal view. Here I'm going to draw one vertical line from this center point and make it as a construction geometry. I'm going to extend this up to 90 mm. Okay. Now line. draw like this from here to here um, then select this point this point and this center axis line make this one as a symmetric and select this point zoom in and select this point must be vertical okay now Again line from this point I'm going to draw one vertical line and give dimension for this is 40 mm again line from this point to here I'm going to give it's 5 mm okay again line from this side only a vertical line it's fine Okay, now I'm going to create two splines. Select spline from this point to this point. Right click and select spline from this point to this point. Right click and select. Okay, now select the select this spline. You can see the parametric arrows. Select this one and make it as horizontal. And I'm going to just drag it and place it here. For this one, I'm going to give a vertical 
just do like this no you can imagine and do it by your own you just imagine the class structure and do it by your own okay I think this one is fine okay exit sketch sorry no need to exit the sketch now I'm going to extrude this in mid plane dimension for this is 30 mm select okay you can see the cheek part of the hammer is also ready now now I'm going to create the cla class structure from here for that I'm going to edit the right plane sketch normal view now I'm going to draw one line from this point to this center point and make it as a construction geometry again line draw like this from here to here and this point to this point select these two lines on the center axis line and make it as a symmetric now I'm going to give the dimensions for this horizontal line I'm going to give is 10 mm okay now you can see now I'm going to do extrude cut just give through all in direction 2 same through all okay just select done we completed the claw part of the hammer you can see it's fine now I'm going to edit this one sketch normal view here I'm going to draw a vertical line and horizontal line make it as a construction geometry oops sorry make it as a construction geometry and select ellipse from this center point draw like this now I'm going to give a dimension for this ellipse from this point to this point I'm going to give it's 25 mm from this point to this point horizontally for this 15 mm okay now I'm going to do extrude cut yeah okay it's fine select you can see we done that now I'm going to edit this part sketch and select this one and make it as a convert entities again select and make it as a construction geometry and I'm going to do offset for this one offset entities I'm going to give a 3 mm select yeah offset is done now I'm going to extrude this up to 100 mm just switch off it okay select now you can see we have to complete this part just click it and edit sketch here I'm going to do a convert entities and uh, go to features extrude up to surface I'm going to extrude this up to surface select this one as a surface and disable this merge result select now you can identify this part okay now we are almost complete the handle from here I'm going to create three planes using reference geometry before that I have to edit this part so not this one yeah it's this one show okay we can see this center axis line now edit this one sketch normal view and click ellipse draw like this I'm going to give a dimension for this from vertically this point to this point 
is 28.5 mm and this point to this point I'm going to give is 20 mm and then okay exit sketch select this part reference geometry plane from here I'm going to give a 50 mm okay select select this plane again reference geometry from this plane I'm going to give 60 mm okay select from this plane I'm going to give it's 40 mm done we created the three planes plane 3 4 5 okay and now I'm going to edit the third plane sketch normal view here I'm going to draw another ellipse from this point this center point draw like this and now I have to give dimension for this vertically from this point to this point is 22 mm from this point to this point I'm going to give is 15 mm yeah exit sketch now for the third plane sketch sorry fourth plane sketch um, normal view here I'm going to draw another ellipse from this center point Smart dimensions from here to here. I'm going to give the same 22 mm what we give in the third plane. And for this horizontally, I'm going to give a 13 mm exit sketch. And the final plane, that's the fifth plane sketch ellipse. From this center point, I'm going to give dimension for this vertically is 30 mm, and horizontally, I'm going to give is 18 mm. Yeah, it's enough, it's 18 mm. Okay, now you can see we created the three planes. And we draw the ellipse. Now I'm going to do a loft. Select lofted boss base. Select this one, this one, this one, and the fifth plane. Yeah, it's fine. Select. Now the handle part of the hammer is ready now. Now I'm going to hide these three planes. Hide, hide, and then hide. Okay. And hide this one also okay now I'm going to do fillet okay just go to fillet I'm going to give uh, 3 mm for the face select here and for here okay and I'm going to select continuously for this claw part here here and then here yeah I think almost completed the fillet part yeah I forgot to do here okay select now the fillet for 3 mm is completed i'm going to give another one fillet it's 2 mm select here this one this one this one and this final one 
Okay, done. Then again, oops, edit this one. Add features, and for this one, I'm going to give the same to mm. Okay, select fillet 3 mm. I forgot to do here. Select okay, we completed the fillet. Now I'm going to give a material properties for this hammer. Finally, I completed the rendering. You can almost identify the original appearance of the material properties. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave your like below and do subscribe for more designs. Stay tuned. Peace out.